everyone, welcome to From the Daps, I'm Menti, and this is episode 7 of the Frigate Fracas Tournament. In this episode, we've got the Alvin York class frigate by, uh, Sniper's Will, which is a very colorful ship. Much paint. <laughs> Not the best camo, and it's shiny. Got a C, we've got a couple of different guns on here. This looks like more like a smaller gauge rapid fire C Wiz, and then this is a uh, larger gauge, faster, larger gauge, you know, heavier gun. I I can never remember what sh ships have what shells. It's there's just that's too many details. But. Uh, Let's see. So we've got uh, hev sloped heavy armor all over this thing. That might make it uh, a little bit resistant to damage. It depends. The neck looks a little thin. That could be a problem. And it's got a very turtle-backed armor scheme. Almost uh, ironclad-ish. Oh yeah, let's hit the V to look at the uh, firepower. 88.11. It's a decent amount of firepower. So yeah, that's the uh, Alvin York class frigate by Sniper's Will. It'll be going up against the Motor Torpedo Gun Carriage 200 by uh, Lauch. Lauch? L-A-O-C-H. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that, to be perfectly honest, but uh, I did my best. It was probably wrong. Let's look at the firepower of, uh, of this guy. Only 54.78, so pretty low on the firepower end. A pretty even split between missiles and APS. But, uh, yeah, it's not so, um... Uh, let's, let's say... Attention-grabbing as the Alvin York class. Uh, the lowest firepower you've seen so far. Okay, yeah, I... I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> It's got these uh, torpedo tubes here, which are kind of cool. They've got these little mimicked tubes around them, which I like. And then uh, it's eight, just these APS guns on the top. Looks like that's probably a Sea Wiz. Same with this. And then this is a, a bigger, punchier gun, which is probably 200 millimeters going off of the name. Uh, changing APS shell. Alright. Well, now that we've taken a look. Let's go ahead and get things underway. Yeah, these initial shells aren't doing a whole lot to the, the Alvin York. And why did it lose its paint? Where did its paint go? In the, uh... The motor torpedo barge gun... I'm just gonna call it the barge. It's taken uh, a bit of damage, but honestly... It's pretty even so far. Those torpedoes coming in, though. Oh, those torpedoes did nasty, nasty things to the to the barge. Yeah, it's a gun barge. <laughs> oh, we've lost a turret over here. Torpedoes out. Alvin York taking some hits. Its guns aren't firing. Those underside torpedo hits. Oh, this gun... This was a Sea Wiz, wasn't it? It's got a single barrel now. It's been disabled. And these are... Thinner barreled. Ah, I bet you the... Uh, the barge is firing Hesh, isn't it? Hesh. 
Hesh heat. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, we're not seeing a whole lot of visible damage getting done, but uh, the internals of the Alvin York are probably getting shredded. Yeah, this th it looks like it's just solid. Yeah. Yeah, the Alvin York is struggling. All oh, the gun bars, though, down to 76.8% health because the big gun blew up somehow. The Alvin York prob is probably still launching torpedoes, huh? Oh, yep, there they are. Sea Wiz is trying to take them out, but is not getting them all. So the main gun got detonated by a torpedo strike, it looks like. Yep, right there. Oh, but she's... Alvin York is low in the water now. Oh! That's, oh, I thought a turret exploded, but no. That's just the Sea Wiz gun pumping explosives into it. I don't know if the, how much longer the Alvin York's going to be able to stay afloat. Like... It's getting awfully close. To, uh, sinking. Both ships just kind of disabled, and... Oh, that torpedo got pretty far in there. May have taken out some of the torpedoes on the, uh, the gun barge. Gun Barge's Sea Wiz is trying to take down those torpedoes when it can. It's just not always managing it. See, like that one right there got through. More torpedoes out from the Gun Barge. Striking the Alvin York. That torpedo got, like, into this hole. I bet you there's something important right there, considering there's heavy armor. <laughs> yeah, this first round is very, very close. And that is it. Round one is over. Oh, the Alvin York was sinking. Yep, there is no Saved by the Bell this tournament. It has to either stop or die. It's dead. That's a zero. <clears throat> so the Alvin York got nothing. It sank in the end, right at the last second, basically. Yeah, that was really close for such a huge win. Agreed. There we go, 74.3 for the uh, gun the gun barge. Yeah, the uh, the Alvin York really doesn't like that heat hesh shell. <laughs> go ahead and get in position here. It's like it's mostly APS. Like its firepower is focused in APS, and its APS guns got disabled super early. Oh, and the gun detonated. And this gun is disabled as well. Jeez. Yeah, this... The uh, Alvin York is not liking this matchup. 
<laughs> A new definition needed for super early. Yeah? It's not over yet, though, because the uh, Alvin York's torpedoes are pretty effective against the gun barge when they can land. Um, guess that one decided just nah. Trying to follow those torpedoes, it's a little difficult from above the water. Why are they just... They're not even trying. Ah, uh, spoofed maybe, yeah, that could be. Maybe the remote guided and the gun barge has ECM? But th that doesn't look like ECM. I'm not sure. Five thousand ECM power. <laughs> oh the Elven York has seen better days. Yeah, let's, let's check the firepower now. It still says the same thing. I mean, hiding firepower doesn't uh, really do you any good, at least not in this tournament. But it's interesting. Ah, uh, low input feeders, so the gun thinks the art. So the AI thinks the RPM is lower when it's actually firing faster, and you've just got enough in the magazine to make it last. Gotcha. I actually did something similar with my ship. Um, I have an ACB that after two minutes changes the ammo intakes on my gun to a shell that doesn't fit in the, in the, uh, in the magazine, so it stops loading shells and wasting materials. But yeah, so that's uh, another pretty, <laughs> not as dominating round as the first one, but pretty dominating. Act yeah, no, it's not as dominating. It's, uh, but things are not looking good for the Alvin York. Not looking good for the Alvin York.
Here we go in round three. Let's see if the Alvin York can actually keep it, keep its guns for like more than 30 seconds. Oh, well, there goes that gun. I think this one might be disabled as well, or... Oh, no, it just has a kind of overly strict firing angle, apparently. But the rear gun is already disabled. Looks like those are frag rounds from the Alvin York. They're doing pretty good work. The gun barge is not a durable ship. And they're, I think the main gun just blew up. Ah, uh, thoughts. Oh, it was the main gun of the, uh, the Alvin York that blew up. <laughs> it caused that bit of lag. Yeah, with both Seawiz turrets active, the Alvin York's torpedoes are struggling to get through to the gun barge. It'd probably also help if the Alvin York's torpedoes were a little bit deeper in the water. Because I don't know that... Oh, no, there are there is sonar. So that probably wouldn't help it, really. I thought it was getting detected by the munitions detectors because they were so... Because they were so... Uh, shallow in the water but now it has sonar <laughs> the Alvin York's armor scheme looks like it would probably do pretty well against pretty much everything except hash heat yeah but my point was harness that I didn't without it having sonar it wouldn't see them if they were deeper to shoot at them But it has sonar, so it... Yeah. <laughs> this is a... Probably the worst possible matchup for the Alvin York. got pretty decent armor overall like your shells would get in there eventually titan but it wouldn't it wouldn't rip it up like it was doing to the the headache that's for sure
And there we go. That's the end of round three. It's a 42.9 for the Alvin York and a 91.5 for the Gun Barge, which had a whole 20 materials left at the end of that. So that's pretty well calculated. Yeah, it is a lot. It is pretty hard to put spaced armor. Um, I have a thing in my turrets that I hope will help protect it against Hesh, but uh, I don't know if it will. We'll have to see if I come up against something with Hesh. But anyway... Uh, yeah, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.